Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back into my channel. So in this demo, we're going to configure an S3 encryption. So first of all, let's just go here and let's name these buckets um, S3 encryption. Scroll down. Now, in order for us to do that, we have to enable versioning so we can configure our encryption. By the way, let's just find out real quick what is encryption with S3. What is encryption in S3? Okay, so Amazon's simple storage services will now automatic, automatically encrypt all new objects add on buckets on the server side using EAS 256 by default. While the server side encryption system has been available on AWS for over a decade, the tech giant has enabled it by default to bolster security. So, see here. So, setting default, I mean, setting default server side encryption behavior for Amazon S3 bucket. This is basically all that we will be working with, so important. Amazon S3 now allows server side, bing, 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 encryption with Amazon S3, manage keys, SSE-S3 as the base level of encryption for every bucket in Amazon S3 starting January 5th, 2023. So that's just recently. Okay, so Let's go ahead and you could read this document yourself. So using SSE KMS encryption for account operation, using default encryption by replication with a replication. Um, so it looks like So let's see what do we got here. So if we scroll down after we finish enable version and for encryption, and we look at the default encryption option, the default encryption option. So we must specify a default encryption for our buckets. So it's either SSE dash S3 or AWS key management service key. So is so that means that any object uploaded into my S3 bucket is going to be encrypted. There's no way around it. Now we're going to choose this, this one that's been selected by default. And we'll have the SSE KMS type of encryption. So now with this, We could either create a key. We could either create a key or if we have some keys that being available.
But like I said, we will leave this for later. Let's just make this like that and create that. So let's view details. So let's, so because I have specified default encryption mechanism, we should, when we upload an object, figure out if the encryption mechanism is being in operation. So let's go ahead and upload. Let's say we upload this image. See details. So the bucket versioning, the permission, properties. So if you look down here, it says server-side encryption, do not specify any key. Do not specify any key, any encryption key. So let's just scroll down. And um, let's just scroll down and upload this and see what it likes. So if you click on that, then we're gonna go over all the details. So as we scroll down, so you see on the server side encryption, I can see that it is encrypted with Amazon S3 Managed Key. So that makes sense, right? I can go ahead and edit this. I can go, I can go ahead and edit this. So, and actually when you edit the encryption of an object, you can see this will create a new version of the object. So it says that this action create a new version of the object with updated settings and a new last modified date. So, so this is why I enable the versioning of the bucket. So you can see you will you would have an update settings. So let's have a look. So we're going to have a server side encryption. And do we want to use bucket settings for default? If we want to, we can override this. Um, we could override this. And down here, we could use the AWS Key Management Services. Now we would scroll down. So now, when we have the SSE KMS, we need to enter a KMS key. So either we go with the A, either we go with the A or N or we create a new AR, I mean, we go with the ARN, Amazon resources name, or we choose it from an available key. So here we have two options. So I will choose, um, <clears throat> choose it. So here, so once I create, I, I mean, if I create, if you have created one before, you could just, choose from existing. So here I do have one. I will pick it. And um, I will pick it. C 
So make sure that the one you pick is, is forward slash that S3. So I want to show you because this create your own key is a paid future. So you don't want that. So, but, so using the one from the AWS is not paid. So this is key that this one here is forward slash that S3. So it is the default KMS key for your S3 bucket. So you can use this without any cost. But if you wanted to create your own KMS key, you can create it and also assign it to a KMS key encryption with your object. But let's go ahead and use the one that I have here. So we could just click um click save. So so close this for now. And now if I go to if I go into version. So if I go into version here, I can, you can see I have two version of my object. And if we look at this current version right here, if we look at this current version right here that I just created, If we look at this one here that I just created, right? One second. So if I switch to property, so we can see indeed that this is encrypted with SSE KMS. It's encrypted. Scroll down and show you that. So this is encrypted with Amazon AWS Key Management Services Key, which is SSE KMS. And we have an encryption key that's all that's AON right there. You could copy this if you want to. So this is exactly the same process as upload an object. So you add a file and again, for so so if you Let's say you switch to bucket and you select this and you upload and you want to add a file. And this time I will choose this file and I will scroll down to properties and on the server side encryption method, I can click on specify an encryption key. And so again, we can use the default use bucket settings for default encryption, or we can override it if we choose the SSE encryption. Um, the SSE encryption. So we see in this, now what about the default encryption mechanism? Um,
So, so let's just go ahead and upload this. So if we go here, the close and we select and we go to properties and we scroll down, we see we have the default encryption and you have here the option to choose the SSE.S3 and KMS, right? So regarding this bucket key option, it is just it's just to lower the, the SSC KMS key cost if you want to. If you have a high usage of your bucket now, we have two. Let me have to edit this and show you. So the default encryption, right? You have the server-side encryption is automatically applied to new object store in this bucket. And we have an encryption key type. You can either ena enable this or disable it. But if you have, a, a, I mean, a high usage for your bucket now, there are two things we don't see here. The first is the S. I mean, the first is the SSE that C is when you provide your own key outside of AWS. And this option is not supported by the console. So you can see it's only, it is only supported if you use the CLI or the SDK of AWS. So the last option of encryption I've seen I mean, show you here is 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 um is the server side. Let me call you back. Is um is the client side, and the client side encryption is not a server side encryption. So there's no option. So. So what I mean is, um, so there's no option in the console to do it. What you do, I mean, what you, what you have to do is to encrypt the object while client side, and then you will yourself upload the encrypted object in AWS and decrypt it again, client side. So you need to indicate to AWS that you have an encrypted, you, I mean, you, you have encrypted your object on your own. So, so again, um, that's, I think that, I think I cover everything about encryption. So I don't want to do that. I will just cancel this. But again, this this is this is pretty much everything that we should talk. I mean, I think you should know about encryption. Should you want to learn more about encryption, you could always go on Google and um see. See here, so you could switch here and what is encryption in AWS? So you already tell you that what why is the S3 encryption needed? See what this says here, Amazon S3 encryption. I mean, encrypts your data at the object level as it writes, as it writes it to disk in AWS data center and decrypted for you when you access it. As long as you authenticate your request and have access permission, there is no difference in the way you act I mean, you access encrypted or encrypted object. So what are the different types of encryption? We went over that already. So they have server-side master key storage and client-side master key storage. 
Is data stored in S3 always encrypted? I would say as soon as your data reaches S3, it is encrypted and stored. When you request your, your, your data again, Amazon S3 automatically decrypted as it stream back to you. Your data is encrypt. I mean, your data always encrypt when it stores in S uh, Amazon S3. So, um, is S3 data encrypted at rest? When enabled, bang, bang, bang. So, it, when when enabled, all objects stored to S3 will to S3 will be encrypted at rest. So, I think that's said. So, let's stay. We're gonna we're gonna stay right there, and I will definitely see you on the next lecture. Thank you. Bye.